Am I the asshole? For asking my husband to not eat lunch at night? We're a one-income family. We have a ten-year-old baby who's under a year old. I don't can't work due to health chronic pain issues. My husband works full-time usually 35-40 hours a week. When I cook dinner, I make enough so my husband has leftovers to take to work the next day. He has the habit of eating what's supposed to be his lunch as a large nighttime snack before bed. We have plenty of stuff he can snack on or heat up that's not his lunch for the next day. Then he ends up eating out instead and he hates fast food so he spends $20 $25 on lunch each day he eats his lunch as a snack. This adds up and makes money tighter for us. I get it's his income but it's affecting the entire family. I've asked him to not eat his lunch as a snack but he says he loves my cooking and can't help it and I should feel complimented he enjoys it so much. I do appreciate he likes what I cook so much, but I also like knowing our bills will all be paid and we can afford gas, groceries, household supplies, and stuff for the kids without being in the red each week. Am I the asshole? Edit if I make more for dinner he will have third fourth helpings. I do the grocery shopping and try to get everything I can on his snack list, he will still eat his lunch as a snack. Hubby is a recovering gambling addict and currently owes $100,000 in back taxes that I'm trying to also budget to pay towards each month. He currently works in retail making around $40,000 a year. He has a master's in economics and used to make $200,000 but some bad decisions in life messed that up and he ended up in legal trouble and can no longer work in his former industry. Wow are you really buried the Lede here with the fact that this man owes $100,000 in back taxes and had a previous gambling addiction. There is absolutely zero reason he should be eating out with that much debt owed. Jesus in a Prius. Also he should learn some self-control. All these suggestions of portioning out two meals. Just no. This grown ass man needs to learn to restrain his impulsivity and leave his homemade lunch alone. Not the asshole. Not the asshole but rephrase it from don't eat lunch at night to stop buying lunch at restaurants. How he makes that happen is up to him. We're a one income family with my wife being home with the kids I either take leftovers or I eat PBJS because the amount of dollar wasted on takeout lunch daily is absolutely absurd. Talking hundreds a month. I don't need to eat sandwiches or leftovers, but I recognize that it would be unfair for the fam and wife if I was spending hundreds on restaurants to myself. This has nothing to do with larger dinners. The husband just wants to eat out. That's his thing. He has no intention of taking a packed lunch. Not the asshole. Having been in this position, the only thing that worked was sitting my husband down and actually showing him the numbers. Say he's eating out 3x's a week, that's $60, $75, $1 per week, or $240, $300 per month, $2,880, $3,600 per year as a family vacation. That's he's eating that's a full month's or more rent mortgage simply because he won't save dinner leftovers for lunch and stop eating out. Lay out the actual cost of his snacking and give him a reality shock. It might help put things in perspective for him. Good luck. Oh, op, you buried the Lede on this one. You're sweating the 2000-3000 he spends on lunches in a year, when you gloss over the heavy debt, his gambling and the job loss due to bad decisions like maybe embezzlement. The problem isn't simply his eating habits or poor planning. He's a complete and total train wreck, and you have decided to stick with him. It won't get better. I'd run like the wind. Not the asshole, but please get therapy and a good divorce lawyer. Not the asshole. Your husband is being irresponsible. And it's both of your money because you are caring for the children and household for both of you just as he is caring for the income for all of you. Come up with a solution together. Either make more food when you cook and portion out two lunches worth for the fridge, or if he just enjoys eating out plan for the whole family to enjoy going out much less often than his every day, or learning not to eat huge amounts at night before bed, or something else. 
edit and maybe you should take over management of the finances and set a budget? You've got three kids not the asshole. Info what does this guy buy for $20.25 if he doesn't like fast food? Like he goes and gets a sit down meal at a restaurant? So he's spending $450-ish month on food for one meal for one person in a family of four. An average grocery budget for a family of four is around $800 a month. He is spending more than half your family's monthly food budget for one meal a day for himself. Not the asshole, but he certainly is. Sounds like he has a financial crimes record and can't support his family enough to eat. You're propping up this loser and he can't control himself enough to not overeat before bed. Not the asshole. He likes eating out. That's the problem. He doesn't want to fix it. I'd take this to couples counseling. He's shooting a hole in your budget and shrugging because it doesn't bother him. That's not okay. Not the asshole. You're being responsible while he's being self-indulgent. Not the asshole. Ask him to keep an accurate tally for one week of how much he spends eating lunches out. I'd bet he'd be surprised. Then tell him to multiply that amount by four. That's approximately what he's spending in a month. Then show him what your monthly bills expenses come to and ask him which of those you should not pay so that he can continue buying lunches. Not the asshole. I suspect from the edit that husband is barred from the investment industry. He's used to pushing boundaries and ignoring people who know better than him telling him no. Add in the tax bill and I'm wondering how you're still together. Not the asshole in any way. Every paycheck buy a gift card so you know you'll have enough for diapers and formula, and give him cash that he can use for lunches. You get $50 a week for lunch. Make it last or starve, woman shrugging. Also, bulk up your meals with cheaper ingredients if possible. Lots of produce, rice, pasta. I am so sorry you're dealing with all of that. Your husband sounds like a child. He is clueless about your budget and what you're trying to do and like any boy, he doesn't really care because he gets to continue with his behavior. Nobody stops him. Stop cooking extra and fix him a sandwich in the morning he can take to work. Hard not the asshole and you're not his mother. Based on the additional info about past gambling, I'd be concerned that it wasn't really $25 a day on lunch. I know it's red as way but you should speak to an attorney or financial advisor about how to best protect yourself and your son from could be a precarious financial situation. Save everything. Document everything. Also, him saying you should be flattering is manipulative and asinine. He should be flattered you're still there when he gets home. Not the asshole. He can eat leftovers at night if he must, but then he needs to figure out lunch for the next day that is from home so he's not wasting money that y'all don't have. Is he bad with money and general planning in other ways? Jeez Louise. Start making super frugal meals and if he complains, tell him that's all that's in the budget due to his eating out. Think cheap hot dogs, sloppy joe, hamburger helper etc. Not the asshole way to bury the Lede with that edit. He is burying the family with a debt. There are so many red flags here. He's not a good partner. Not the asshole quit making extra for his lunch. You know what is going to happen. Make a bucket of PB and jelly sandwiches for snacks and lunches. Or let him eat cereal for a snack. Not the asshole, but the crux of this is not about eating leftovers. It is about actively choosing to eat out for lunch multiple days a week instead of bringing something from home out regularly is not an effective budget option for most people, with one income, and two kids, no way. Not the asshole, but it doesn't sound like your husband is a reliable partner or a person with any impulse control whatsoever. Not the asshole. What the heck is he eating that's that expensive every day? Not the asshole. It's not just his paycheck. Since your arrangement doesn't allow you to earn an income his income is the family income, and you are trying to stretch it as best you can. He needs to listen to you.